And of course, you can join us with your comments via our social media handles on X, on Facebook, and of course, on my joy. Online.com. Now it's official. The end of government restructuring program with official creditor following its latest international monetary fund bailout. The finance minister, Mohammed Amin Adam, announced at a town hall meeting with Ghanaians in Croydon, London. According to him, not only has government restructured its $5.1 billion for the credit creditors, but has also concluded restructuring of $13.1 billion with its euro bond holders. We'll hear from him shortly. But this afternoon, the finance ministry has also released an official statement on the deal, spelling out details of the agreement reached with the creditors. Kofi AJ uh, will join me shortly to break it down for you this afternoon. But let's hear the optimism of the finance minister as he look forward to a very robust Ghanaian economy post-COVID. This economy is rebounding strongly. We are rebounding strongly, and it's surprising the world. Even the IMF, the World Bank, they are all surprised. Last year, they projected our economy will grow at 1.5%. We grew at 2.9%. This year, in the first quarter of this year, they projected we will grow at 3.1%. We grew at 4.7%. In the NDC time, for three consecutive years, manufacturing was negative. Last year, manufacturing was negative for us as well. But I can tell you, in the first quarter, manufacturing has turned positive. And the growth in the first quarter is fueled by industry. Industry alone grew 6.8%. And so there is hope. The manufacturing sector is coming back. We are going to continue to create jobs in addition to the 2 million jobs that we have created already. This economy will grow and it will grow faster than everybody thinks. By the end of this year, we are supposed to grow at 3.2%. But I can tell you, we will grow at 5% or even more than 5%. This is because of the pragmatic policies we are, we are implementing as a government. And so don't let anybody talk you down. You should raise your head up, and you know that your government is doing the right thing. We are bringing the economy back. Our president said that we know how to bring the economy back. And that is exactly what we are doing. The good news. Many projects had to stall. Because when we decided to go to IMF, one of the conditions was that Ghana had to do what we call debt operation. We had to go and restructure our debts. Because our debts were considered unsustainable. I want to announce... For those of you who are interested in the debt restructuring, which has become Ghana's most difficult problem for the past two, three years, we are bringing it to an end. We are bringing the debt restructuring to an end. Last two weeks, we concluded negotiation with the official creditors, and we've agreed to restructure $5.1 billion. And I'm telling you, your government is good in negotiation. Of the 5.1 billion, we are going to make a savings of about $2 billion. $2 billion. As I speak to you, tomorrow morning, there will be an announcement that we have also concluded our negotiation with the euro bond holders. $13.1 billion. And ladies and gentlemen, when we announce it, please read the details. We have negotiated a good deal for Ghana. That will save us $8 billion. All this money, we will no longer pay. We will have to use it well. And so the president has decided that we will create a special fund like we did with HIPEC. So we can direct these savings to strategic infrastructure projects so we can take our economy to another level. And wait until the announcement. The confidence in our economy is going to come back stronger. Because the world is no longer interested in investing in Ghana because of those debt restructuring. After tomorrow, it will be a different story. Watch the CD to the dollar after tomorrow. Watch the CD to the dollar after tomorrow. <laughs> I know you are interested in that story. 
Let's watch it and see. The confidence will come. The investors will return to Ghana. And the growth trajectory will even become clearer for all of us. So this election is an election for us to win. The NDC can no longer campaign on the economy. Our record is better than their record. On the size of the economy, we've done better than them. On per capita income, we've done better than them. On job creation, we've done better than them. On economic growth, we've done better than them. They say we went to IMF, but it's not easy to be under an IMF program. Because we've seen them before. When they were under the IMF program, by 2016, they missed all the targets. So far, Ghana has become an example. We met all our prior conditions and the IMF praised us and disbursed $600 million. We did our first review. We passed all the tests. The IMF praised us, they disbursed $600 million. On 28th of this month, we are doing a second review. And I'm telling you that we are going to pass. We will pass. We will meet all the targets. And the IMF will disperse money. See this dollar again. Watch it. When the IMF disperses money on 29th of this month. So everything we have to do to reset our economy, we have done it. We are not going back. We are going to go forward. And so please, ladies and gentlemen, it started from President Kufu who identified the land. It took President Akufuado to come and cultivate the land. It would take Dr. Baumia to bring the food home so that we all eat and rejoice together. Thank well, so much optimism and confidence in the voice of the finance minister, Dr. Mohamed Amin, yesterday when he met the Ghanaian community in London Croydon for that town hall meeting. But in reality, all the things that he's so optimistic about, are they feasible as we look forward to the IMF announcing this officially? Remember that this, this town hall meeting was held yesterday, but in the last few hours, there's been development on this matter. My colleague, Kofi AJ, joins me in the studio to help us break down the numbers and make sense of all that it contains. So first, Kofi, uh, we, we understand that there's been, there's been some developments yeah. on our relationship with the euro bond holders. First, walk us through that before we break down the optimism of the finance minister. So what we have is what is termed the government of Ghana, the Republic, the government and the Republic of Ghana and representatives of the bondholders reach an agreement in principle. Mm -hmm. In financial terms, we call this the uh, AIP, agreement in principle. Mm -hmm. So it's not final it's yet. It's not final. It's agreement in principle, just like it happens in the... Uh, you know, the football space in the transfer market when they say there's an agreement in principle, which means that there are final bits that have to be done. And they say that the terms of the Eurobond restructuring, the government of the Republic of Ghana and the representatives of the bondholders reach an agreement in principle on the terms of the Eurobond restructuring. Now, let me take you through the details. Right. What's seen for Ghana mm -hmm. in terms of these uh, agreements. So we understand that bondholders have been offered, uh, they've been given two offers. One is called the disco option, and the other is called the par option. So, what does it whichever mean? Way that you choose, disco and you have to, you know, uh, suffer certain haircuts. If you choose a disco option, disco, the, the disco is like doing so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but during the race, in this restructure, if you choose a disco, it means that you are agreeing to a haircut of 37, you know, percent. And, and also you are going to have your interest streamed to 5%. Mm -hmm. We know that the bonds that we have usually are between 8 to 10% on the average. Right. But if you agree to the, the disco, it means that the principal you have will be reduced by 37%. 37%. Your interest will move from, let's say, 8% or 9% to 5% between 2024 and 2028. Then 2028 onwards, you start getting, instead of the 5% interest, you mm -hmm. get a 6% interest. Okay. So that's for the disco. Now, those who will be opting for the, um, you know, the power option, this is capped. It means that the maximum amount of funds that will be allowed to enter into this option is around $1.6 billion. Okay. With the power option, there's a point where you will not enjoy, you will not have, rich, um, you know, haircuts, but there's also another part if you choose uh, maybe the, P, the PDI or the, the what they call 
the down payment bonds. Mm. You are likely to suffer a haircut of 37%. And so investors have two options. And these are agreed you know, principles of how the debts should be restructured. So Ghana is selling this to them new bonds for so, exchange so, so we are so Kofi, waiting for, for for them to oh, to tell us which one accept, they will go for exactly so regardless you have to choose one of these one of these whether the disco option or the power option mm -hmm. and in all governments is hoping if we look at what is being uh, written here we are looking for some 4.4 billion in terms of the cash flow that we are looking for okay. uh, from these two options that we've given to uh, you know our our investors money that otherwise would have gone into paying Absolutely. some loan Absolutely. Mm. I mean, if you do the math, you realize that Ghana has been paying between two to three billion dollars right. on interest of loan every year. Absolutely. So it means that if this is made available, and just like you know, Courage Booty said, this is not money that is sitting, you know, that you're going to take. You have it is money that you, you would have paid, you, you, you but you are not paying, so you keep the money. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So these are the two options available to the bondholders, whether you decide to go for the disco option. At which you you you, was, you suffer a haircut of 37 percent, uh, your interest will be reduced from coupon rate will be reduced from some eight to nine percent to now five percent. Mm -hmm. Beyond 2028, you start enjoying six percent. If you go for the power option, know that there's a cap on the number of investors who can enter this. The amount is about 1.6 billion. So these are the two options available. Uh, and is there any indication which one they are settling for? I mean. This, that's why it's an agreement in principle. Okay. So we are now waiting. This is the exchange offer that we've given. Just like the way the domestic debt restructuring, the government gave an exchange. Right. And people had to subscribe. Mm -hmm. So we are waiting for the investors, those who bought the bonds, to subscribe for us to know where they will go and all of that. But in all of this, the government of Ghana, according to the finance minister, believed that at the end we should be saving about $8 billion uh, you know, dollars. Dollars. But, but again, the, the finance minister was, was quite clear that by the close of work today, we should get it, we should get a statement. This is the statement he was referring to. Uh, we, this is the statement from the, the steering committee, as we've picked from uh, online sources. This is not from the finance ministry themselves. We are waiting for the finance ministry maybe to put such a statement on their website. Mm -hmm. But just like the way the agreement in principle with the bilateral guys was had somewhere in January 2024, it took us about four months or five months to get the actual agreement just about a month ago. That's the same way this might also take in terms of the path. Mm -hmm. This is the agreement in principle, but we are now waiting to see the path that the investors will choose. But the good news is that these are the terms that the investors feel that they, they, can, they, they, they can work with. Absolutely. Uh, so, so we understand that the IMF will hold their meeting on the 28th of this mm. month. And then it is to understand that by the time this meeting is on, and 28 is just, yeah. I, I think, this week, yeah. it is to understand by the time that this meeting is on, the Eurobond holders would have come to a decision mm -hmm. as to which one they are, mm -hmm. they are subscribing to. In fact, one thing that has really helped Ghana is how fast we were able to get the agreement with the bilateral guys. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the steering committee, there were the bilateral guys who were there, the Eurobond guys who were there, and IMF itself plus government of Ghana we're also there to do the deliberation. So some f f form of, you know, uh, you know, comparability of treatment, and everybody agrees that this is how the deal should go. So once we were able to reach the agreement with the bilateral creditors, it served as an opportunity or a platform for us to start fresh negotiations uh, with the Eurobond guys. Remember that the first option uh, that we reached with them was actually uh, not agreed by the IMF. According to them, this could not you know, meet the program parameters. So Ghana had to go back to the negotiation table to talk to the bondholders. Now that we have both the bilateral creditor agreement and the agreement in principle for the commercial creditors, this is good news for Ghana and the finance ministry or the Ghanaian authorities believe that come, uh, you know, uh, July 28, 2024, they will have the second a review pass and a third disbursement of $360 million will be, will be you know, sent to the Bank of Ghana. And again, the finance minister was quite clear that uh, uh, in, in, in few days to come, mm. we're going to see stability in the forest. Perhaps the city is going to appreciate more against the US dollar. And, and then goes on to say that things are generally going to get better. Mm. And what, what, what may be informing this optimism? 
I mean, there are domestic factors that can cause the CD to stabilize. We understand that when there are injections like the IMF injection, immediately the IMF decides to agree to this best. Mm -hmm. There will be other additional funding sources from the World Bank and other development partners. That's good news for Ghana. And then also the fact that this will give us a good outlook on the international capital market. We are hoping to go back. We do not know when we'll go back yet. But some form of goodwill mm -hmm. and you know, some fresh news around the Ghanaian economy and everybody will know that the Ghanaian economy is on the path of recovery. That's good news for us. But generally, generally, the stability of the city does mm -hmm. not depend so much on, on this what one. we do here domestically. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about what is happening in the U.S. economy. But, but perhaps you also, I mean, if, if the, the, the city is able to, to, to appreciate mm -hmm. against the U.S. dollar, it will have effects on what happens at the pumps. I mean, yes. I mean, the pumps. Uh, yes, we, we and are, then the pumps is mostly determined by forest and world market prices. So if the dollar, if the city is stronger, it means that we might be paying less for, the, for petroleum products. There are projections that the price per barrel of crude can hit as low as sixty dollars next year. In fact, today it's come down. It's come down. That's good news for 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 us because we will not be spending majority of our forest inflows to do uh, some of these importations. I mean, more, less cities for, for possibly more dollars. Mm. That's what's going to happen. But the most important thing is that these new agreements with the external bondholders will bring some form of goodwill around uh, the Ghanaian economy. And that sort of you know, positive uh, sentiment can create uh, what they call the uh, speculative, mm -hmm. you know, positive speculation. And that's good news for, mm -hmm. for the Ghanaian economy. But before you go, so clearly with this euro bond almost out of the way, means that everything that the, the conditions that the IMF set for us, we've virtually met all of them. Yes, I mean, we are looking for, we are looking to raise about $10.5 billion from all the restructuring we are doing at the external mm -hmm. level. Now the finance minister is telling us that we are saving about $8 billion from the commercial and about $2 billion from the bilateral. Right. But the most important thing is that although we'll be meeting all the IMF conditionalities, we should also make sure that, I mean, we are creating platforms and then also the projections are right so that when the time is right for us to pay back the money. The because money. we are only postponing the payment yes. of our debt. Yes. It will eventually come back one day. Yes. So on the bilateral side, more often, you know, postponement. But on the external commercial side, mm -hmm. we have some sort of cutaways, write-offs, reliefs, where some are as high as 37%. So that's generally good news for the Ghanaian economy, where we believe that about 5.4 billion official creditor debt that was subject to restructuring, we've been able to do 5.1 billion, according to the finance minister, 13.1 billion of the euro bond bonds, uh, savings of about $8 billion, also according to the finance minister. Let's look at the final one. And just like he said, mm -hmm. uh, these are the, the debts that we EMR for restructuring, what we are doing so far. And let's look at the savings. If, yes, so if you combine, the savings at both the, ex, uh, the commercial mm -hmm. and then the official level, we are talking about $10 billion of savings, according to the finance minister. And that's very positive news for the Ghanaian economy. All right. Kofi, thank you so much. Let me bring in Professor uh, John Gachi. He's, he's an economist. As we break down the joy uh, that we witness in the voice of the finance minister. Professor Gachi, you're welcome to the pause here on Joy News. Thank you. So the finance minister sounds so confident, so optimistic about the future of the Ghanaian economy because our negotiations with the euro bond holders is almost out of the way. He's hoping that we will save $8 billion out of it and sing praise to the Ghanaian economy how far uh, uh, it, it, it has come to the extent that the dollar or the city will in a few days to come will appreciate against the dollar clearly Better, better days are ahead. Will you say that that is that that is is that, is that the way you see it, Prof? Well, I, don't, I do not see it that way, uh, because what we have achieved virtually uh, is to say that we are supposed to pay this amount, but we are not going to pay it. But uh, we have restructured the debt. The debt will start running from a certain period, on the back of the fact that. We are not able to mobilize critical resources for, for the domestic economy uh, to thrive. Uh, this is not about governizing production. This is not about governizing the real sector of the economy. 
it's just a respite that is given to us uh to 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 maybe make our books look a little bit better that does not take it uh that does not take away the fact that uh we are going to resume repayment uh of the of the debt so i do not see the fanfare uh surrounding this kind of uh development of course uh, it is the government that have brought us to this level uh, if the government has that has negotiated this deal uh to 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 cushion itself and for that matter the uh, the Ghanaian economy i do not think that there is anything so uh uh, uh significant to uh, celebrate about this i think the finance minister is uh, carried is too much carried with the uh, with the news about the agreement mm. but uh, i mean the, the statement that, that came from the real and, and, and again and again and again if you say you have saved uh, eight billion yes where have you saved it how how would that come by where will you get the money to put into the escrow account we do not have the money that's what we defaulted in the first place that's why we have not been paying the debt for over two years so now that you have signed agreement and you have you are telling the Ghanaian that you are saving close to 10 billion the question is why do you get the money to put into the escrow account mm. so these are the critical issues that we need to raise especially why do we get the money to put into the escrow account what will be the suffering of other sectors are we going to now look at the the i mean the the creation of the escrow account as a project by which we should prioritize that that every money we have we put into it where other sectors will be suffering the finance ministers attempted to say that we are going to use these savings to uh, provide critical uh, infrastructure for the country critical asset for the country the question is that the money is not anywhere mm. so <laughs> why do you tell us that you are going to create uh, you know, critical assets, strategic assets from, 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 from this money. But, 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 so it's but, very, uh, it's, it's an, it's, it's an elusive statement. No, no, but Prof, if we are, if we are holding on to monies we would have paid as interest on some of these loans, then clearly that money becomes savings, savings for the country. Is is simplifying it? Is that not what it is? I understand that, but the point is that you are not able to pay. That is why you declare default. Mm. It's not as though that you are keeping the money somewhere. And then now that you sign an agreement, then you offload it into uh, some account. The money is just not there. Mm. So we shouldn't create the impression that there is some money that we have saved and is somewhere we are going to use to do critical infrastructure. But to what extent does this strengthen the city, for example, against the major trading currencies? Because one of the optimism of the finance minister is that in the coming days, we will see the city strength go you know, stronger against the US dollar, for example. That may even see price of petroleum products come down. Unless we do not appreciate the understanding of the Ghanaian economy, we are definitely going to see some momentary respite for the city. Mm. But the city will resume it with its own course. The, the, the situation will come down to demand and supply. And that will be the situation as we go along. Mm. Uh, this, this agreement will not change the course of the performance of the CD. The performance of the CD will resume its course after getting some momentary uh, respite from this development. Mm. And then the, the other matter of how much of confidence does this give investors to invest in the Ghanaian economy? The finance minister says that this clearly will open the door for a lot more people to come. He's even looking at going back to the, to the euro bond market. That clearly shows misunderstanding of what we are, we are doing. You cannot receive uh, a, a sort of debt forgiveness. Then, auto, uh, then immediately, then you are going to the debt market. Uh, it doesn't happen that way. Mm. So we will need to, you know, uh show commitment to building an escrow account we need to show commitment to the resumption of uh, uh the repayment of the debt it is after that that we will see uh the confidence that we are expecting around the ghanaian economy but this agreement will not bring that level of confidence we did domestic 
uh, debt exchange, it didn't bring that confidence. We are now doing external debt exchange. It will not bring that confidence. We have things that we need to do. If we are able to do those things, we are able to build an escrow account uh, over a certain period of time. If the time for the resumption of repayment comes, and then we are on course. That is what is going to send signal of confidence to the international uh, 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 debt market. So if somebody is saying that by this agreement, uh, confidence is resume, CD will perform extraordinary, that is just a momentary happiness that is being expressed. And of course, um, we are going into election. Uh, so the, the, the finance minister sees it as uh, something that has happened uh, to boost the confidence of the, of, of, the, of the managers of the economy. But the reality is always there. So we should just trade cautiously. I, I, are you saying that there's nothing to be cheerful about here? No, I, I think I, exp uh, I expressed that earlier on. If you are able to negotiate to get uh, 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 some kind of uh, sacrifice of almost 10 billion, that will not be on your book. That is, uh, that is something that you should be happy about. Mm. But you shouldn't extend it to mean that the CD will be so uh, uh, strong. Uh, uh, you shouldn't extend it to mean that you are going to, very soon you'll be going to euro bond market. It doesn't work like that. Mm. But the, the, Prof, you, you brought in the issue of the 2024 election that is just around the corner. The government sees this as an achievement that they should sell it to the electorates. Now, I mean, basically what this means is that we are only postponing the payment of our debt. To what extent should we tread cautiously in, 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 in managing this? Because I've heard uh, comments from government officials, including the finance minister, that stored projects will now see some life in them Contractors will be back on site. Projects that were abandoned because of these, some of these agreements, we're going to see them, uh, you know, back on track and then delivery dates, you know, announced here and all that. We've got some years ahead of us to pay back the loan that we are postponing today. How cautious should we tread in the management of our economy so that today's joy not doesn't become, uh, you know, tomorrow's morning? Well, that's what I explained already. How, how do you sign an agreement uh, to resume debt repayment after maybe a year or two, uh, that amount of money in your pocket for which you are going to do projects? How, 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 how does it happen like that? So you see that when you go into it critically, uh, we are not being told the reality. Of course, it's a cartel effect. There are people who appreciate this thing. They, they don't care about what the, the finance minister says. Uh, there are people who, who clearly may not appreciate some of these things. They'll be happy, especially those on the political side uh, of, the, of the finance minister who do not appreciate this. They will think that he has said something very concrete. Uh, and, and then there are people who just will not want to hear that. Uh, so it's a cartel effect. Some definitely will get some people uh, clapping for him and believing that something extraordinary will happen. But in reality, that is not it. Let me ask a final domestic question so I can let you go. The finance minister also announced that government, the president has ordered the, the release of some 1.5 billion Ghana cities to pay uh, those who suffered during the banking sector cleanup. He was quick to add that government is not responsible for their investment decisions. But government being a caring government has decided to pay uh, to give them some cushion, 1.5 billion cities out of the 4 billion cities. I mean, is this the, 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 the way to go? I think we are grateful to God that uh, finally, uh, uh, because of the election coming, government has heard the cry uh, of, of, of these people. Uh, but I do not think that that will do anything significant uh, because the government has paid deaf, uh, I mean, actually 10 deaf year to these people over the years. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then the, because of the election, the government is claiming it's going to pay them. Uh, that is good, but I do not think that that will yield any political dividend to, to the government. All right. Professor John Gachi is of the University of Cape Coast. Thank you so much for your uh, insight into this particular matter. And it's a matter that is, you know, developing. Uh, the IMF board will, will, will sit on the 28th 
of, uh, of this month to look at this and then possibly sign of Ghana, uh, sign of Ghana on this matter. And then that may lead to the release of the tranche.